So uh, today we have some litmus paper here. Um, as you can see, there is red and there is blue litmus paper. The red kind of appears more pink um, than red, but the idea is that if we put red litmus paper in an acid, it will turn red. If we put it in a base, it will turn blue. If we put blue litmus paper in an acid, it will turn red. And if we put blue in a base, it will stay or turn a darker blue. So to start off, we have learned that water is a neutral substance. So if I take the litmus paper and I put it in the water, we can see that the pink indeed stayed pink and the blue stayed blue. So we have a variety of substances here that we're gonna test out. Um, to start out with first, we have some coffee because you know everybody needs coffee in the morning. So if I dip the litmus in the coffee and I lay it down here, we can see that the uh, red stayed red, it got stained a little bit um, with the coffee and the blue is turning ever so slightly pink. So it is a very, very weak acid. Now, moving on here to vinegar, if I dip this in here, you can see really dramatically that the red stayed red and the blue turned a nice red. So vinegar is a, that's right, acid. Okay, now we have bleach. It's a cleaner, so we can kind of guess what it might be. But if I throw our litmus paper in here, Holy cannolis, look at that. The red turned blue, the blue got even more blue, which means that bleach is a base. Salt water here, we got some salt mixed into water because we can't test pH if it's not uh, in solution. So if we dip this little friend in here, it appears that uh, our pink maybe turned just ever so slightly blue. Uh, our blue stayed blue, so salt water might be very, very, very weak on the side of a base. Uh, here we have some vitamin C, pirate's favorite vitamin. Um, so if we dip our litmus paper in here, then we get red, red. So vitamin C is a acid. Soap, we can guess, you know, based on what we know about acids and bases. We dip our litmus through the bubbles here. And blue, blue means, what does it mean? That's right, it's a base. Look, Jack is just learning this right now, our wonderful cameraman, and he's already got this. All right, orange juice, red plus red equals acid, alcohol. Oh, we got pink and blue, so alcohol is chemically mm. neutral. It's not, it's not either, because it's neither one turn, yeah. Mm. All right, so apple juice, Red plus red equals acid. acid. And baking soda, blue plus blue is a base. Sugar water, now if all goes well and nothing weird happens here, we got red and blue, so sugar water is neutral. Milk, does body good. Ooh, it's like, it's like magic, you can't even see what's going on. So we got slightly blue and definitely blue. So milk is just barely a base. Hydrogen peroxide. We got red and blue, so we're definitely neutral. And last but not least, ammonia, the stinky one. Save the best for last. Blue plus blue equals base. So now you guys have seen like I don't know, a dozen or so um, litmus paper reactions, um, and you should be able to very easily understand the difference with acids, bases, with litmus paper.